Muna says, if after khul' in my iddah, I turn out to be pregnant, what's the ruling? My iddah ends when I give birth, but am I still his wife during the iddah? Or am I actually divorced and it is, uh, and is it only about not getting married during the iddah? Why is it not allowed to marry during the pregnancy? We know that when a man and a woman decide to separate, this is either done by choice, when the man himself divorces his wife by saying, Anti Taliq, you're divorced or we're divorced, or by the woman filing for khul'a and she compensates her husband by returning his dowry or parts of it and in exchange for that financial compensation he agrees for khul'a and they separate or it can be done forcefully by the Muslim judge after studying the case and finding that marriage cannot continue or that there is something that prevents the marriage from existing such in the case of one of the spouses uh, um, rejects Islam and becomes an apostate. In Khul, what happens is that there is a mutual agreement usually and in some cases the judge enforces such a process where the wife says she wants to bail out. She doesn't want to stay in this marriage. And she has her reasons. If verified and legit, and the husband does not want to, the judge forces him to. And if the husband is okay with that, and he decides to settle by accepting his dowry back or part of it, any financial contribution. In this case, the separation takes place. So the moment he says, I agree, and he takes the money, they're separated. They are not man and wife anymore. And a woman in the khullar process has an idda. What is the idda? When a man divorces his wife, she remains in a transitional period between marriage and being unmarried. This transitional period is, generally speaking, measured by the number of her monthly cycles. So after divorce, she gets first monthly cycle, the second monthly cycle, the third monthly cycle. Once she is pure from the third monthly cycle, the marriage is considered over. She can immediately, the following moment, get married to someone else. But within this transitional period, within this idda, they are still man and wife. He can look at her, he can stay with her, but there can't be any type of intimacy. No intercourse, no kissing, no hugging, etc. And this is if he divorces her the first divorce or the second divorce. If he divorced her the third divorce, then totally she is prohibited for him and she must wear the hijab. Having said that, if one of them were to die during the iddah, the other living spouse would inherit. So in these three th monthly cycles, he lives in a room, she lives in a room. After a couple of, of, of menses, he dies. She inherits her husband. And her idda is increased into four months and ten days. The idda of a widow. Though she hates his guts, she separated from him. She just wanted out. Yet she is still considered her uh, uh, his wife. Likewise, if she dies, 
though he divorced her, but she was still in the Idda period. Going back to Muna's question, if a woman took khulr, so Muna took khulr, after the husband agreed, she paid the money, now she's in her idda period, she discovered that she's pregnant. This means that her idda, instead of being one monthly cycle as any woman who applied for khulr, it is extended until she gives birth. This is what Allah mentioned to us in the Quran. And those who are pregnant, their iddah is over once they give birth. So she gave birth. Immediately after giving birth, she can marry the following second. Now, does she have rights? Any woman who files for khula and is granted it, she has no rights over her husband. He is not to provide uh, a living quarters for her, uh, nor pay for her maintenance. But because she's pregnant, he is forced to provide her with a place to stay and to provide her with her maintenance that is sufficient for her and her uh, a pregnancy. Because this is his son, this is his child, and he's responsible for catering for her well-being. And this goes on until she gives birth. But they are no longer man and wife in the sense that she applied for khula. So there is no possibility of reconciliation like any divorced woman. Rather, she has to wear the hijab. She must not be in the same house with him in seclusion like a divorced woman. No, she has to move out or he moves out and there has to be no communication between them and Allah Azza wa Jal knows best.